I think this calls for space buns. So, summer is coming, although by my attire, you probably can't tell. Still in my Helena Bonham Carter phase of wardrobe, but summer is coming and um, I want to refresh my wardrobe a little bit. As I talked about in my chuck out your clothes with me cleaning closet video, I'm kind of just not in the mood to buy loads of new clothes at the moment. Even if they're second hand, I'm kind of like, do I have to? What else can I do? And I had a little idea. I was cleaning out my wardrobe yesterday slash rescuing Mavis from the chaos. The pain on her face says it all. And I was talking to Craig and I was like, Craig, you're gonna clean out your closet? You know, spring, summer, spring cleaning. And he was like, I don't need to clear out my closet. This is my freaking closet. Let me show you his closet. <laughs> so I thought, untapped resource, maybe summer 2022 isn't about sustainability. It's about sustainability. So today I'm going to be stealing some of Craig's clothes. Now, I don't know if you've ever met Craig, but this is me and this is Craig. <laughs> As you can see, the Lord God gave us a uh, very different body parts assembled in very different orders and sizes, but I remain optimistic that I'm gonna be able to make some new and exciting outfits out of the stuff I'm going to steal from him right now. Let us go forth and plunder. So what have we got in Craig's closet, which was, by the way, used to be the boiler cupboard. Here we are. He volunteered, it's fine. Some empty coat hangers for dreams of tomorrow, I guess. The standard suit in a bin bag for weddings and funerals, a classic. We've got a slightly nautical shirt here that's play, probably gonna play havoc with the camera. I think this is what Craig would probably call his office graveyard from when he used to work in an office. So he still has some shirts and that, but doesn't wear them very much. We've got a woolen jumper, another black shirt. I'm not feeling optimistic about this, guys. A maroon shirt, I quite like that. This Polaroid number, this mismatched shirt i actually bought him and i quite like and i've been wanting to steal it ever since a knitted naval t-shirt some leopard print that he's never gonna wear that i bought him <laughs> this floral shirt i really like you might remember this from some other videos we did some more jumpers graphic jumpers and of course a denim shirt and a flannel shirt hmm, hmm. Now I'm gonna start off in my comfort zone, <laughs> probably with one of the zanier bits of his wardrobe, this lovely flower shirt he picked out. It's secondhand from Depop. And while I think he's styled it before, like making this the main event of the outfit, I wanna make this the least exciting thing about the outfit. That's the challenge for this. I want to outshine this and see how far I can take the pizzazz. Now, when it comes to tone, my instinct is these trousers, because I think they have a lot of similar elements to them, but I'm also seeing that this has a navy background and this has a black base. So it's not, it's not pleasing me as much as I thought it would. But if you want pizzazz, maybe we just need to go to the source. Why were we messing around? Sequins, obviously. So this and this, floral and glitter, I'm feeling good about that. Probably want something a little less busy to break it up. So how about a strap top like this that still has the color pizzazz? That could work. And maybe some zany tights? Give me a second, let's see if I can make this work. Okay, things are feeling positive as is. This is what we've got so far. Some bright fuchsia echoed by some maroon tights. It doesn't look out of place to me. However, we're about to step it up. Flowers, flowers. I'm not just pulling this out my ass, you know, there are actually peach tones that look pretty sick with these earrings. This isn't just me trying to push the boundaries for no apparent reason, she says. And then I'm gonna tie this round here so it goes with the silhouette I'm trying to create. And I could have my collar like this and just have like a peep of the pink. But then I was thinking, what if I popped the collar and just went for it? Because why the f not? We're all gonna die anyway. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. I think this is the finished look. Let's do a photo shoot. Okay, the next item on the list I'd really like to have a little play with is his Michael Kors, I know, shagging a Tory, <laughs> denim shirt that I happen to know he got for a fiver, but it is Michael Kors. So the first stage in this transformation is making sure I don't get lipstick on it. <laughs> but I also happen to know that he has this rather fetching tote bag 
full of ties. And would this be a menswear challenge if I didn't succeed in at least getting one Avril Lavigne style tie moment into an outfit? So let's have a play around. I feel like if denim is the theme, who am I to try and override that? Let's see if we can not only ride this wave, but make it into a tsunami. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, why is it that even when I'm trying not to give off art teacher, when I'm going for vaguely something a bit more sporty, loose fitted, I'm still an art teacher. <laughs> Maybe I'll just lean into it. Look, this is where I really want to tuck the shirt. That's where I really want it to sit. And I don't really want to have a ponytail. What I really want is a bun. Can I make this tie into a belt or something? No, I feel like that's breaking it up. I didn't mean for Joey wearing all his clothes to be my fashion icon, but here we are. <gasps> or oh, this floral tie ties in with this florals on the jacket. <laughs> now we're in business. Okay, I'm not entirely against this outfit. I think we're kind of done. I've got some twill stripy jeans on the bottom, a kind of indigo blue t-shirt. We've got the oversized denim shirt under a layered denim jacket with the tie as a kind of like casual draped scarf. And I think it's giving off housekeeper from Parent Trap kind of vibes. Chessy, yeah, it's giving off Chessy vibes. And if it was to get hot, as it occasionally does in Britain, let's not get excited, then I'd take the jacket off and I would attach the tie around here. <laughs> you had to go and make it feminine, didn't you, Lena? Okay, photo shoot. Okay, next I thought I'd have a play around with some of the greens in Craig's wardrobe. I doubt he'd ever wear these together, but I 100% would. When it comes to wearing stuff that's kind of oversized, I think you can either commit to the oversized, like I did with the last clip, or you can juxtapose it with something smaller, which is why I'm getting out my trusty green leather Rita Skeeter mini skirt. I bet there's some other green elements I can bring to it too, but let's just, Let's just go with that for now, let's try it. So if you're thinking to yourself, Lena, this is supposed to be a summer wardrobe. <laughs> I would say to you, yes, this is a freaking summer wardrobe. In Britain, I'm dressing for May weather at the moment in Britain, but this could be modified by taking off the tights. But to be honest, even in August, you wouldn't leave the house without a layer like this, even if you're just tying it around your waist, thus. But let's imagine that it's not the sunniest day of the British summer. In that case, I'd wear it like this. I'd probably put a little Alice band in my hair to keep it off my face. And then, if I wanted to look like at some point in my life I'd attended a grammar school, I might do this or God forbid this, but I can't even take myself seriously like that. So I'd probably just lob it on over the head and round the shed like this. Now I'd want to make sure these were sticking out so it looked a bit more stylish. Maybe I'd tuck this under a little bit. And because this is all starting to look a little bit too sweet and innocent for me, I'd lob on a dark lip. I actually feel really comfortable in this. <laughs> Let's do the photo shoot. And then the final challenge of the day, this rather fetching Polaroid rainbow shirt. I freaking love this shirt. I think it's one of the coolest things in Craig's wardrobe. And I've always been jealous and kind of wanted to steal it. So now's my opportunity. I think I'm gonna get stuck into the artistic color theme that this thing is begging for. Perhaps some summer layering. Give me a sec. See, I always see people layer play suits with square necklines, but that's never made any sense to me because if you're layering them over a shirt, there's like obviously a natural V. And if you have a play suit that also has a V in it, it just makes sense to me. I think that looks kind of, Kind of nice, a bit basic, but it would definitely be very cool and floaty without the tights when it starts to get a bit sweaty. Loads of potential for ventilation here, but I'm wondering if I can go a bit more arty with it. This 
slip dress with this over the top. And then because it's like photography art, I can wear my picture frame arty earrings. I think this calls for space buns. Okay, space buns. <clears throat> and then Craig has these really incredible Doc Martens. They have paint splashes all over them. And while like obviously realistically, <clears throat> <laughs> They're much bigger than my head and I can never wear them in real life. Let's just do a thought experiment. They're a bit muddy, so I'm gonna put this down. I really wish these were my size. This would be the look. If I was feeling very UCLA art student, I might wear this. <laughs> but even I think that's a bit much. But yeah, I'm usually a little bit self-conscious in this dress because it's quite bodycon. But with this really lightweight, flowy material over the top, it's making me feel quite confident. And overall, like 100% would wear, will probably wear this summer. I hope you enjoyed this sustainability wardrobe video. If you are thinking about renewing your summer wardrobe, why not swap a few pieces with the person that you're in a relationship with, with your neighbor over the road, maybe with a friend who has a slightly better wardrobe than you. I wanna inspire pooling our clothes a little bit, getting them out, out there in the streets as much as possible because clothes are nice. They took people a long time to make and a lot of resources. So the more sunshine they get this summer, the better. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was made possible by the Gumption Club who tipped me per video to make sure these videos keep happening. If you like these kind of sustainable wardrobe videos, might I interest you in any of these little babies? Tell me below which outfit you liked best or which one you would wear yourself because I'm nosy, frog snog out.